In this view, we will be demonstrating the AP clavicle. The AP clavicle should be performed with the patient standing at the upright bucky or lying supine on the radiographic table with a 40 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. For the first view, the AP, we are going to use a 40 inch SID. The central ray is centered right to the clavicle. We're gonna keep our collimation open and we're gonna center right here in between the juglier notch and the lateral portion of the shoulder. We're putting a left marker on the left side. The patient's hand will turn forward so it's an anatomical position. The patient will take a big deep breath in and they will let their breath all the way out and the patient will hold very still and the exposure is taken. A diagnostic AP clavicle radiograph must be free of motion and rotation. Demonstrated anatomy to include the entire clavicle, including the acromioclavicular and sternoclavicular joints with proper visualization of bony detail. In this view, we will be demonstrating the AP axial clavicle. The AP axial clavicle should be performed with the patient standing at the upright buggy or lying supine on the radiographic table with a 40 inch source to image distance. The tube angled 15 to 30 degrees cephalic depending on the patient's body habitus. We're gonna use a 15 to 30 degree cephalic angle, and we're gonna center still here at the inferior portion of the clavicle. We want to keep the patient's hand anatomically. We are still centered on the clavicle. We still have a left marker on the left side. We still have 40 inches SID. And this time the patient is going to do the opposite. We are going to have the patient inhale. So patient, please take in a big deep breath and then hold your breath, don't move, and the exposure is taken. A diagnostic AP axial clavicle radiograph must be free of motion and rotation. Demonstrated anatomy to include the entire clavicle, including the acromioclavicular and sternoclavicular joints, with proper visualization of the bony detail. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to visit CloverLearning.com and explore our robust selection of video-based courses, certification exam prep question banks, and continuing education resources. Lastly, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on our latest videos.